everyone welcome to Nitty Cat Studio I'm Cheryl and today I just wanted to share some uh, yarn that I found at Goodwill and so I thought it was pretty nice uh, yarn for what I paid for it so I just thought I would let you know that you never know where you're gonna find something um, if you go thrifting or whatever you just might find something that you're interested in so anyway I just wanted to share some of this yarn um they're all in bags still so i haven't opened them up uh some of them i didn't really know what i was getting and some i did so um yeah so i have um a bag here that i could tell that this was um the eco plus um cascade yarns and this is a hundred percent peruvian highland wool and so for four dollars for two skeins that was pretty good and the same here. Um, it looks like I have one in a, I don't know, a navy. Kind of looks like a navy. Um, and then another one in this really pretty turquoise color. Kind of stack them over here out of the way. Maybe. <laughs> and so then I have another bag here. Um, let's see. And got caught. There we go. Um, I'm not sure what's in here, so we're going to open that one up. But this one is another one. Um, and these colors, I guess they just have like a shade. It's a shade and then the batch number. Sort of a brown. And this one looks to be like a black color. And this was $3 for these two. Okay, so I think, let me see if I have any more with just two in them. I did have this one, um, this pack here, and these were $3. And this is more of the black. Then I have more of that Eco Plus yarn. And this is sort of like a, um, a dark olive drab and then sort of like a mustard um kind of like a mustard color i don't know if that's too much light if that helped or not probably not <laughs> anyway so i had that and let's see what else i have i think i spent a total of 40 dollars for all of this um Another one I need to open up because this looks like a mix. So we'll do that together. Okay, so this one also was a um, sort of a, a taupe color of the Eco Plus. And I'm not sure I'm going to open this one up. This was $4 though. Because I'm curious to see what else is in here. So I'm not sure at all what this is. It's if I had to guess, it looks similar. It's it's in a um, it looks similar to the Eco Plus yarn. So it's probably something left over, a skein left over. And the same with this is probably more of that black. They did leave um, they did leave the little label in there. So let's see. I'm sure that's what it is though. Yeah. Yeah. Shade 50. Okay. So that's nice. Um, I'll set those aside. And I did drop this one. <laughs> so, and this one is another, um, in that kind of a taupe color. Um, this is, says it's a shade 4170. See that? Um, so I will set those aside. Okay, so that looks like the majority of those, those larger skeins. So now, um, this was $4. And I'm going to peek and see what's in here. Pretty excited to see what's in this one, because I saw these. Um, Nashua, I don't know if I said that right. Hand knits. So this one is... 75% wool, 25% uh, alpaca, 
and this is um, 100 grams, um, 3.5 ounces, 220 yards. That's really pretty. That's a really pretty color. I, I just, I like that one. So there are two skeins of that here. Set those away on the side. And then there is something called <laughs> Lana Grassa. Hmm. I don't know. It's a sock yarn. That's really pretty. Wow. So this one's called Colorado. Uh, sanitized. Actifresh. And I'll pop, I don't know. I'm going to botch that name. <laughs> so I'll just leave it at that. Um, it's pretty. It's, it's Colorado Untangled Pearls LLC. So that's neat. Okay. Here is um, a cake. Someone wrapped a cake. Oh, which reminds me. I have something to show you what else I found. I'll show you at the end of this uh, when we're done with this yarn. Speaking of that. So you can probably guess. <laughs> um, okay, and then this is just a Woolies Thick and Quick. Oh, what is this? Sequoia. Very pretty. And I did a little giveaway on the Woolies yarn um, for our 100 subscriber giveaway. So I was, I like this. I'm pretty happy to see that. Okay, so that one's done. We'll set this one aside. That is so pretty, though. I don't know if you got to see that up close. Very pretty. It's it's got purple and a little bit of green and pink and I don't know, a lot of colors in that one. Okay, so let's jump into this one. Oh, it's more of that pretty sequoia mm -hmm, from the Woolies. I'll pull those out now. So one doesn't have a label, but that's okay. So I have three skeins so far of that. Um, and look more of this beautiful beautiful yarn that's gorgeous and this one didn't have a label and this didn't have okay this has a label you guys this is probably I don't know that's a lot that's a lot to do something with I'm not sure what this is but it feels pretty nice um, no idea though but it was it was wound it looks to be like it was wound into a cake Pretty though. Gorgeous. Feels very, very soft. So that one. Okay, then I have this one. This is a Highland, Peruvian Highland wool. Um, spun in Peru for Elan.com. And it's 100% Highland wool, it says. Uh, 50 grams, 100 meters, or 109 yards. Very nice, pretty. My favorite color too. Love purple. This is now. I've, mm, I don't know if I've had something like this before. Maybe I have, but it's so pretty. It's it's um. Let's see. This color is ivory, and this is loops and threads, um, wool like. And this is okay. So this one is eighty five percent acrylic. And 15% nylon. But it's really soft. I have another bag here. And this was $4. Oh, we're going to have another one of, of the uh, Highland wool. That's very pretty. Someone got rid of their stash, guys. <laughs> but I love, I love like the wool. I love um, alpaca and um, all of that. So... This one is called Nature Spun. It's red. Um, it says it's 100% wool that's moth proofed. And it's one and a quarter ounces, 50 grams, 184 yards. I have more of this beautiful, beautiful yarn. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I've got to plan something, guys. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I just love that color. So pretty. And guess what? Another one of these. So that's what? Four? Four skeins of the Sequoia. Really pretty. And I don't even know how many of these. <laughs> one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. Looks like seven ish. I've got it all piled up here now. Oh, there's a couple more over there. Okay, so let me see if I can scooch these over a little bit. And this is my last bag. I am not sure what this is. It's in a hank, I believe, the way it's twisted. Um, I don't know. Uh, but it's a really pretty color. I don't know. It's pretty. I will find out, though, eventually. Okay, and here is a cake. And this is... Um, they put the little label inside, and that's more of that cascade. <laughs> and then I'm sure this is a... Probably a... Well, it could be a sock yarn. Kind of feels like it could be. So that might have been a sock yarn. I, I'll have to test it and feel it next to my other ones. But here's a little, um, it's called Juniper Moon um, Farm. Nev or Neve. And this is, um, wow, it's little, but it's uh, 222 yards. And it's um, 100 grams. 100% cotton. Okay, so there's that, and I am not sure what this is, but it definitely looks like um, some sort of wool or alpaca fiber, for sure, and it's very soft. And then I have this last one that was wound into a cake. And I'm not sure if that is, but this was hanging off of it. Um, na, 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 fair trade, artisan, hand dyed. Okay. So it's 70% merino and extra fine and then 30% silk. So, yeah, nice. And the last one I have is a skein of Red Heart Super Saver. Um, Red Heart yarn, I felt like it used to be a lot nicer way back. And it feels like just, I don't know, rough now or something. Anyway, so the last thing I wanted to show you, the little surprise. Let me scooch all these out of the way. I got a little bag here I'm going to toss them in. All right, I kind of scooched that out of the way. Um, this was the other item, and it was six dollars. And this is one of those really nice uh, heavy duty, and this is a Stanwood, and it's um, a ball winder. So yeah, it's all metal. It's beautiful. I was I was just shocked. It seems to work fine. Um, I have not used it yet to wind anything, but I'm sure I will be. Um, now that I have all this um, love of yarn to jump into getting it ready um, and prepped, so into yarn cakes. So yeah, I like it. It's beautiful. I just want to thank you for joining me today, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.